My name is Jacques Demario and I'm the head of the International Committee of the Red Cross. I have come many times to Gaza in the past 25 years, but I've never seen such a devastation, so much blood, so much destruction. I've never seen so much blood, I've never seen so much fear and tears in the eyes of the men, the women, and the children. My heart and the heart of all the 140 people, Palestinians and the foreigners who are working here, is full with grief for the loss of our beloved ones. The, the hour is grave and uh, we, are, we are coming here at a crucial time for Gaza. I want to express the condolences of the International Committee of the Red Cross for all the people who died and who are dying as we speak. I'm also here to ask a question. Who is responsible for the blood? Who is killing? Who has the power to stop the killing? I'm here to ask the Palestinian people with whom the ICRC has been working for the past 50 years all over the world, from Palestine to Kuwait, to the Maghreb, to the, to the whole of the Middle East. I'm going to ask them to open your eyes. What we are facing as a humanitarian operator is a very challenging time. A very difficult time. All these discussions, all these uh, communications, all these conferences about the respect of the Geneva Conventions. All these commitments by the states, by the parties to the conflict, to respect the laws of war and the principle of humanity in war. I'm asking you, where are they now? Where are these words now? They are not in the blood and they are not in the tears of your people and of our people. There is a lot of expectation for humanitarian actors and for the ICRC in particular. Some people, they call us to ask to stop the war. Some people, they call us to ask to stop the shelling of the house. And we cannot do that. Many people are asking us to save them from the rebels, from their house under shelling. And we are trying to do that. But we cannot succeed all the time. 
and people look at the times where we fail. And this creates anger. The anger of people who are under fire. The, the, the anger of people who want justice. And this anger is directed also at us. And we are being asked to denounce. We have been denouncing, we have been saying to everybody that there are rules in war. We denounce the killing of civilians. We denounce the bombing of uh, Al-Aqsa Hospital. We denounce in the strongest possible terms the, the killing of our colleagues from the Palestine Red Crescent. But what we are meant to do here is to try and save people under the given circumstances, in the real situation. So I'm telling you, Palestinian people, our brothers, you can, uh, you can criticize us for not being able to stop the war, or for not being able to stop the shelling or for not being able to respond to all your expectations. But don't be angry at us because we don't try to do it. And don't be angry at us because we don't succeed in achieving important things for you. In the past few days alone, we have restored water for half a million people. We have brought more electricity in your homes. We have helped the ambulances evacuate hundreds, hundreds of people who otherwise would be dead now. We are pressuring the Israeli in a confidential fashion to improve and to ensure that there are no women and children and innocent civilians that are shedding their blood. And we are saving lives. The thing is that there can be no humani humanity or humanitarian space if the people who hold the guns do not respect it. In a few hours, Two people have died who were very important to us, among all others. Mohammed Abadla, Hamed Al Burai. These two people, they were trying to save lives and they were killed. You want the ICRC to denounce? I am denouncing now. 
I am denouncing the deliberate killing and targeting of our PRCS brothers while they were trying to save lives. I am denouncing on behalf of the ICRC all the attacks against health workers, against civilians, against hospitals, against the ICRC as well. And I want to say to the Palestinian people, don't direct your anger at the wrong place. Some people, they are trying to divert your anger against us. But we are also victims here. Humanity is a victim here. People are saying that the ICRC is neutral. We say we are neutral. Today in Gaza, I'm saying that we will be neutral when it comes to politics. But we will never be neutral when it comes to choosing our side, and our side is by the victims. I will finish by saying that Palestinians, open your eyes. Who is responsible? Should you be angry at the people who are shooting or should, be, should you be angry at the people who are trying to help you? You always hear from us that we call on the parties to respect the laws of war. And we are doing this today and every day and we will continue this until war exists. But today, I'm asking the Palestinian people, the mothers, the fathers, the imam, I'm asking the journalists to respect our work, to help us help you. Because we are in this together. Because we are also losing people. We are losing sons and brothers. I, I wish we could have a feast in better circumstances. And I have been knowing the Palestinian people for more than 30 years now. And I know that you are a strong people and that in these testing hours you will know who is your friend and who is your enemy. And I know that there is a lot of despair and sorrow. And I also know that you are capable of hope. We want to be part of that hope. Shukran.
Okay, let's talk about the evacuation first. Our policy is very clear. It is written down in the laws of war as they exist today and as they have been built over thousands of years. Civilians must be spared and protected. That means that nobody should endanger them. And no matter what, they should not be targeted. So we are not in the business of evacuating civilians from their homes. We are in the business of ensuring that they are protected in their homes. When there are cases like a sick or an injured or a pregnant woman or a humanitarian case, we do indeed evacuate. And we have been doing so for hundreds of people over the past days. But we will not be part of a process that removes a population for its homes. To facilitate a military operation or to continue to have them in the line of fire. And the situation in Gaza where military targets and civilians are so close the one to another does not exonerate the parties from their responsibilities. This is for the evacuation. The next thing is about the coordination. What, what is coordination? It is about asking both parties to ensure that the people who need help can be reached and that they can be taken out from a given place or that a service can be provided in a given place. It is an effort to get from both parties the commitment that they are going to respect the ambulance or to respect the humanitarian access. If the people say no, what can we do? And if they say yes, and then they betray their very word, what can we do? And this is what has happened yesterday. We coordinated to go to one place. And we paid the price of blood. And we do not accept to be accused of being responsible for the death of our own. So when it comes to coordination, again, look at who is responsible. We are responsible for doing the best we can. But we cannot be held responsible if somebody shoots at us.
form the Palestinian people. That some people are calling hospitals, police stations, municipalities, schools, pretending to be ICRC. Okay. I want to inform the Palestinian people that there are some people who are spreading false rumors against the ICRC. Some people are calling hospitals, municipalities, schools, saying that they belong to the ICRC and that they are spreading false informations about evacuations. This is completely false. You should not trust everybody that says he is from the ICRC and you should beware from the people that want to bring harm to the ICRC. Thank you. هناك الكثير من الشائعات التي يسمعها الشعب الفلسطيني ومنها أن الصليب الأحمر يقوم بالاتصال بالمدارس أو البلديات أو المنازل لإبلاغ الناس بإخلاء هذا المكان نحن نؤكد من هنا أننا كصليب أحمر لا نقوم بهذه الاتصالات لذلك تحققوا ممن يقوم بهذه الاتصالات ونرجو لأن هناك من يريد المساس وإذا وإذاءكم وإذاءنا كصليب أحمر